Hi, my name is Patrick, and this is Prep Mindful, your daily video practice in mindful test prep. Coming at you today with a PSAT math question. This was question eight from section four, the calculator permitted math section, from the PSAT that was administered on Wednesday, November 2nd, 2016. Pause the video. I know, it's weird, but pause it. Then you can take a crack at it yourself, unpause the video when you're done, watch the explanation, see how you did, mourn, celebrate. I said mourn in a weirdly joyful way. Anyway, let's get in there. It reads, in the expression 3 times quantity 2x squared plus px plus 8 minus 16x times quantity p plus 4, p is a constant. This expression is equivalent to the expression 6x squared minus 155x plus 24. What is the value of p? It's a pretty common question type on the PSAT and SAT. Basically, you can think of it this way. If I had a quadratic expression that said ax squared plus bx plus c, and that were equal to dx squared plus ex plus f, then these corresponding coefficients, or in the last case, constants, would have to be equivalent. A would equal D, B would equal E, and C would equal F. So I'm trying to set this up to look like that. All right, looks like I gotta combine some like terms and do some distributing. Cool, so let's distribute this three. We get six X squared plus three PX plus 24 minus, let's distribute this 16 X, so minus 16 PX minus 64. So the coefficients I have on my x terms right now are 3p, negative 16p, and negative 64. And those have to match this middle coefficient from the given equation, negative 155. So I could do 3p minus 16p, that's negative 13p minus 64 equals negative 155. I'll add 64 to both sides, negative 155 plus 64, you gotta do it in your head. What a bummer. No, we live in an exciting time. Bust out that calculator. Turns out to be negative 91. So negative 13p equals negative 91. Divide both sides by negative 13. The negatives are gonna cancel and p equals seven. Problem like that can seem kind of intimidating at the top since there are, oh, I don't know, a dozen different terms at the beginning. But when they told us that that expression was equivalent to this six x squared minus 155 x plus 24, we knew we just needed to get our p equation to look similar to the equation they gave us. And then we'd be able to find which were the corresponding coefficients and solve for p, seven. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, why not subscribe to our channel? Then you'll know when a new video is coming out, which is, you know, tomorrow, because it's a daily video. But it could still be nice. If you have any questions about this or any other problem, feel free to hit me up in the comments below, or you can email me at prepmindful at gmail.com. In the meantime, my name is Patrick, and this has been Prep Mindful.